Hey Jim, how long did it take you to buy into the blocking thing? Uh, when I first got here, you know, that was just one thing you had to do to be able to play. You had to block first. Yeah. And as you as you made your touchdown run the other night, you saw Terry, you saw Austin. I would think out of the corner of your eye, you saw Terry. I definitely saw Terry, but then after I saw it, I saw Austin. But it's just like the first thing I did when I came to the sideline was thank Terry and Austin. Yeah. Uh, and they can tell you I did, but. Um, it's just something we do uh, for each other, and as a team, we know if we want to uh, be the best in the country, we got to have the blocking with it. I was going to say, you said that as I was walking up. You think this sets you guys apart as a group? That we, we, we try to be different. Um, you can't be the, uh, you can't blend in being, uh, being the best, so I feel like you got to be a different receiver core, and that's one of the things that make us different. Hey, Kate, <laughs> did you see Johnny Dixon's tackle on the interception? Yeah, I was in with him. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, what, what, like, did, I mean, did they watch it? Did you guys celebrate it the same way? I know Terry's getting a lot of the talk, but yeah. did, did uh, you yeah, see that play? We saw, we saw the effort, you know. That's, um, that's just, that's just Johnny, you know. That's, that's something that makes him different. Also, you know, uh, I was in on that play, and I saw him going to chase him down. I wasn't worried about no touchdown because I saw Johnny take off. So, I mean. That was a crazy play. And a What's your vantage effort. point like in a play like that? Like, how did you, like, where were you? Because I could go watch it again, but uh, what did you see on that play? Uh, I was running a, um, I was running a wheel, and uh, I just heard the crowd yell. So when I looked back, I thought that somebody caught it, but I was down the field. When I looked back, it was uh, he was running, so I saw JD take off. So I was like, oh, let me take off. And then I just see Johnny sprint 4-2 after him, so. I mean, uh, I know we was good because he got to stop. And we know that we believe in our defense; we can hold them off. So I feel like that made uh, that tackle was a good thing because uh, it shut down a little bit of the momentum they could have had if he was scored. So right. I feel like that's what I sure. Has there been has there been any, any talk about avoiding a letdown going into this week, coming off of a big game like you guys had? I mean, what's the mood kind of been around practice? I mean, we've been going harder than even before, you know, because we know, like, um, coming off a big game like that, that you got to do what it took you to get there. So we've been doing the same thing, just doing the same steps, uh, taking everything serious, no uh, drop-offs. And Dwayne gets a lot of, you know, talk about his arm, his arm strength downfield, but it seems like he's able to get the ball out of his hands really quickly on those swing passes. Uh, what, what do you see on those types of plays where he's just able to get it out really quickly? When you get it out quickly, it helps us, you know, be able to circle the defense and get a read on the defense because when you catch it, they're right there. So it helps you a lot as a ball carrier and as a blocker. KJ, KJ what kind of attributes Court. does it take Court. to be a good blocking receiver? Uh, I feel like I feel like it's all effort. You know, you can uh, you can be small, you can be big. It just takes hard and effort. Who kind of sets the tone in the wide receiver room to be kind of who do you look to as the example of? The ideal blocker in your in your position. Definitely Terry. You know, Why? Terry, I mean, every block he done made, it's he done put somebody on their on their butt, or he done uh, knock somebody out. So I mean, if I was if I was young coming in and I want to be a great blocker, I would look after Terry.